Hi, welcome to our 14 day introduction to satellite earth observation. My name is Ian Woodhouse and I'm going to be the instructor on this course. And I'm one of the co-founders of EarthBlocks as well as a professor of applied earth observation. And I've got more than 30 years experience in using satellite data to develop solutions. Now, I'm really excited to bring you this course because I'm really keen to get as many people as possible engaged with satellite data and understanding a little bit about how you can use it in a range of applications from nature-based solutions to uh, environmental impact assessment. This short course is comprised of 14 videos, all less than about five minutes. So we want to keep them short and sweet, very regular. You can do a one a day during a 14 day period, or you can watch them all in one go if you prefer. You should have access to EarthBlocks either because you are an existing customer and you've got a license or you're perhaps on a trial, or you can be one of our 14 day free trialists. If you haven't got logged in and got your access yet, please do go to the website you can see at the top here. So app.earthblocks.io and that should lead you to the process of, of signing in. If you need to register, go to our website at earthblocks.io and you will get access through the, the pricing page. Now, the things that we want you to get by the end of this 14 days, well, we want you to get some understanding of what satellite data can do and how to use it. We're going to give you a hands-on experience of using EarthBlocks to actually explore satellite data. You're going to visualize some of the range of satellite data that's available, including radar data, which often scares people and puts them off a little bit, but we're going to get you through that. You're going to be able to calculate indices such as NDVI and then look at the time series so you can see how that changes over time. We're also going to look at mapping land cover and then finally being able to export the results of your analysis, either as an image, a PNG image or an animated GIF or as a GeoTIFF. Now, once you've logged in, you should be able to see on this side the map interface where we're going to choose where we're going to look and the areas of interest. And down here is the, the toolbox and the workspace where we're actually going to construct our blocks to make the instructions. So go and get logged in, get ready for video one, and we're going to start looking at some Earth observation.